What is it about Sia that made you say yes to the ring? There are so many things about Sia that I absolutely adore. But if I were to name a few, definitely the fact that he's so patient. Um, he absolutely loves his kids and um, it was the biggest thing for me and what I, what I love the most. I mean, what woman doesn't like a man that loves kids? Literally 24 minutes ago on Instagram, Sia and Rachel Golisi released a joint statement revealing that their marriage has come to an end. Um, yeah, so guys, let's read the statement. This is very sad, but let us read uh, the statement. The statement reads as follows. We wanted to share some important news with you. After much reflection and open conversations we have mutually decided to end our marriage this decision comes from a place of love respect and understanding that this is the best path forward for both of us while our relationship as a couple is changing we remain great friends and committed partners in raising our children with the same love and care they've always known we will always continue working together on the foundation that means so much to us we are grateful for the love understanding and support you've shown us and we kindly ask for your respect as we navigate this transition with gratitude and love, Sia and Rachel. Breaking, Sia and Rachel Kulisi have broken up. The couple announced their separation this afternoon. I man. Marriage these days doesn't work, man. Me, now as your comrade, I say, Viva Fatan City, Viva! Viva Fatan City, Viva! Viva Fatan City, Viva! Viva! I man, yo! I get me nangi singala i family meeting sis Rachel put si ya ngala slanga nene because spike ganjala si fike ganjani la me nangu na kama mama me nangi call wale ntole enza gala le si bona yo na tls if you have not seen it just know uguti le too le iti yona i they going the separate ways but lugene and a part of me just refuses to believe it I feel like someone is gonna be like ah oh, it's a campaign because. First of all, Sia still, Sia's bio on Instagram still says husband. Profile picture, okay. I think it's this profile picture in particular, or the, it was another one, but boy, boy, too, I got Rachel, you know, I used to show yeah, one. And I'm like, knowing Instagram, you can also archive pictures. So I noticed on Sia's profile that he archived, supposedly, um, archived pictures with him, no Rachel. And... <sighs> None of it is making any sense to me, guys. Like, when did we get here? Also, I feel like all of the gossip blogs and people usually let us in, especially if in jail, like, yes, in, where, where there's smoke, guys. Maybe this is about to happen because it's been bad. Like, none of that has been happening. So, like, when did we get here? How did we get here? I have so many questions. And I need to lend them to What the hell is this? Sia Khaleesi and Rachel Khaleesi are getting divorced. I'm gonna move out of frame now so you guys can pause the video and read what this thing says. This was like the couple. Honestly, this is the only celebrity couple that I've ever been interested in. Then out of nowhere, Rachel goes and posts this. What is going on? This doesn't make any sense. I understand that it's the best decision for them and they're doing what's best. But why? Did it have to end like this? In all seriousness, I do hope that they're both okay and I wish them all the best for the future. Yo guys, I'm here for my own selfish reasons of wanting to be inspired by other people's marriages when I couldn't even make my own work. Like I'm head. 
although I know that for some people getting divorced is the best because when they're together it's not good I'm still hurt like at this point I'm so desperate to even hear what brother Enigma can say brother Enigma We've been hearing Jesus saying everything about everything else. What about Umshato? Because people are out here divorcing. It's not even nice anymore. Even for us who are called divorce influencers. There are people that we actually look up to. Because we believe in marriage. But at this one, I as a country know. Nah. This is sad. This is painful. This is you. I. Oh, friend! Sia Colisi and Rachel broke up. Ha! Ha! Friend, I'm I'm serious. They broke up. Look. Ha! Ha! Friend! 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 Jo! 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 Ha! 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 Okay, not the news that I thought I was going to see on a Tuesday evening. But as you can see there, uh, Rachel and Sia are getting divorced. And look, the thing is, I mean, I'm not going to speculate here. And people, I mean, they are human beings. They are adults. And whatever it is they are in charge of their own lives and they decide what's best for them and their family and i wish them all the best but i am sad even though i don't even know them personally they don't even know who i am but i i am genuinely heartbroken for them i mean i'm looking at their family the things that they've done the good that they've done for not just Sia and rugby, but their foundation and just like the way they were with each other and how they were there for each other and how strong both of them are, despite like a lot of uh, both of them receiving criticism over the years for certain things unfairly. And yeah, I'm, I'm sad, yo. I am, I'm heartbroken. Coach Tobajani, you once said football can kill you. Is that how you feel now after what you just saw? Yeah, this one is a real, 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 real death.